Hello guys, it's part 2, trading order tapes. Okay, let's go! <laughs> trading stop orders, boss stop orders and stop limit orders can be set at a special price or they can be set in relation to the market price when a stop or stop limit order Footers with the market price that the trailing stop order trades use this stage to protect the profits. For example, a trace might buy a stock for $50. A week later, the stock price may rise to $53. The trader may set the trailing stop order. To sell the set $2 below the market price if the stock price dropped to $51 the next day. The trading stop order would become a market order to sell locking in some profit for the trader. However, if the stock price increased to $50, Five dollars the next day. The trading stop order trader would increase to fifty-three dollars. The trader price for trading stop orders can be determined by dollar amount or percentage, but it will always be relative to the market price. Market if touched orders. Market if touched orders are similar to limit orders, except they downgarden a price that helps them exert more quickly will still allow investors to set target price rather than buying at the current market price. The trader sets a price and if Set price is hit, the mid order will become a market order. For example, suppose a trade wants to be a stock that is currently trading at $17, but the down went to buy the margin might place and mid buy order with a target price of $16 if the stock price falls to dollars the mid orders will become a market order and the trader will buy the stock. Limit touched orders. A limit if touched orders is like a mid order but it sends out a limit orders instead of a market orders. Limit orders a different from standard limit orders because the trades can set both the trigger price and the limit price. For example, sports stock is trading at $16.50 a lit by order trigger called be price at $16.40 or 40 cent and a limit price call will be set at $16.35 uh, if the price moves to $16.40 or below then a limit order will be placed at $16.45 since it is a limit order shares will only be bought for $16.35 cent or less. If there isn't anyone willing to sell you shares for $16 and 35 cent or less, then your buy order won't exact or even the lead trigger price was reached. The bottom line. A market order use used to enter or excite a positive quickly this is a 
quickest way to fill an order, but it gives user list control over the price and limit order. On the other hand, announcer minimum selling price and maximum buying price, but it won't exact as quickly. Stop orders are used to limit your losses with a market order when a trade tools against stop limit orders employ the same tactics but they use limit orders instead of market orders trading stop orders and trading stop limit orders use the same stretch to protect profits market if touched orders trigger market orders if a certain price of is touched limit is touched orders send out limit orders if a special trigger price is reached how do i choose with all types use experienced trades will use many if not all of the order types discussed here Knowing when to use each depends on your trading strategy and positive tips. For example, if a stock you own is going down rapidly and your only goal is to that your positive as quickly as possible, then you'll probably use market order if you are holding a stop for the long term but you want to protect against the stock going down then you may want to use a stop loss order if you have a special profit target in mind you might use a limit order to automatically take profit at that price uh, why do stock exams create so many orders tapes? Brokers know the stock urgency, create and control order types. And certainly brokers offer all uh, these order types to best serve their customers. More order types provide more options for how to trade certis if you are a new trade and looking for a brokerage and to brokerage uh, in all ways except that one offers more orders you'll probably choose the one that gives you more options bye bye guys